Well, we're taking on issues that have to do with the Electoral Act right now. And joining us in the studio this morning is Mr. Femi Adishino, who is a special advisor to the president on media and publicity. Mr. Adishino, welcome to Sunrise Daily this morning. Thank you. Good morning. Perhaps the first question I should ask you is, when is the president going to sign the Electoral <laughs> Act? He will sign it any moment from now. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be any time, but within the 30 days. Why has it taken so long? Well, how do you define so long? If the law gives 30 days for something to be done, so what then is so long? As Indeed. long as it's done within that so window. So the first time, I mean, well, this is not the first time really. I mean, for those who are counting, they will say this is the sixth time <laughs> the Electoral <laughs> Act has been before the president. Mm. But let's talk about the fifth time when we were quite optimistic that in a matter of uh, no time, as a matter of fact, the president was going to put pen to paper and sign the Electoral Act. <laughs> and then there was a huge conversation around direct and indirect primaries or direct primaries being the only clause included in the uh, Electoral Act. And there were, you know, questions as to whether or not the president president was sign with that. It took all of 30 days for the president to finally make up his mind. In fact, some people count 31 days before he eventually sent it back to the National Assembly with the reservations that he had. Uh, some people say that if it was just that reservation alone, it shouldn't have taken all of 30 days. Looking at the fact that we're running out of time and then it's gone back to the National Assembly, they've done it, they've made the uh, adjustments speedily. And they've sent it right back before the end of uh, before the end of January. January 31 is what you have re remembered <laughs> as the date it was sent back to the president. Um, they did their work in good time, and they were hoping that the president would show that alacrity in terms of uh, the time needed to eventually get this underway. Why is it taking so long? It brings us back to earlier question, I, and I answered. How do you determine so long? If the Constitution gives a time limit, d do it within 30 days. And if 30 days have not elapsed, then you can, you can say it's so long. The intention of as the Constitution... As long as it's done within time. <laughs>